Hi, I'm Will Cabral, snowboard expert at Curated.com. I've helped hundreds of people buy the right gear at Curated. Today, I got a chance to ride the Burden Flight Attendant. The Burden Flight Attendant is a board that really makes waves for being able to carve and catch air. Just so you know, we are not sponsored and all these reviews are completely unbiased. If you need help finding the right gear, click the link in the description and we'll be sure to help you out. So the Burden Flight Attendant with this bigger nose, you kind of get what is like an all mountain setup and then you do have the bigger nose to be able to plow through things. It has a little bit of a setback on the insert which places the rider directly centered over what is the predominantly camber section on the board. So we've got a little bit of rocker in the nose and then mostly camber with a little bit of a shorter tail. And this was just something that it really wanted to go fast. Um, it has Burton Center WFO base, which really flies. This was something that we straight lined and felt super stable on. It has metal inside the core to really eat up a lot of the chatter. Really a great kind of all around board. This board is really awesome at high speeds. It's also quick edge to edge. It's a really active ride, but with the directional camber, you're still centered on the camber on the snowboard. So it's going to feel almost like you're, you know, you're riding more of a, a twin board when you're turning it, but you get that added benefit of that float and that little bit of nimbleness with the taper. That said, this board riding switch can be a little scary at times. So if you're someone that, you know, occasionally is riding switch, this is a good option for you. But if you're someone that, you know, say rides 50-50 switch in regular, you might want something that's a little bit more twinned out. It's not gonna be a great freestyle board if you're spinning. It will take some lines to the park. It's not gonna be a rail board, but the pop it has, and also on landings, that stability with that, that more medium aggressive flex, it's going to be stable. This board is really, really fun in powder and uneven terrain. It's also going to be really good popping off side hits, dropping cliffs, in and out of the trees. It's going to be with you pretty much if you're carving, you know, a blue groomer all the way up to the steepest in, and most technical terrain. I'd say the only place that this board is not going to be ideal is if you're riding a ton of park. I also wouldn't recommend this board to a true beginner. I think it's just a little aggressive. This might be a great board as you're moving to more blue terrain and you want something that, that you can ride for a long time. This would be a great investment snowboard. So snowboards work differently for different types of riders. If you need help finding your next setup, reach out to me or one of my fellow experts at Curated and we'll be sure to help you out. And if you like this video, click the subscribe button to see more awesome content from Curated.